Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Gamer Logic. I'm Mike Murtis. And I'm Matt Murtis. And we're going to talk about five of our favorite RPG games that we've played kind of throughout the years. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and go first with Wanderers from East 3. Not East. No. <laughs> no. Not Wanderers from East, because a yeast infection is not any place that you want to wander. Yeah. That's very good advice. Yes, it is very good advice. But Wanderers from Yeast 3, and like when we were kids, we used to call it YS or Yeast, and no wonder we thought Yeast. Yeah. But uh, it wasn't until recently to watching the Happy Council Gamer that I realized that it's Yeast. But uh, this was a fun game, and we got it pretty cheap back in the day. Uh, interesting little side-scrolling game. Now, they also released this for the TurboGrafx-16 on the CD. Um, I beat it this year, uh, just to kind of compare between the two. And even though the Turbo Graphic one has like the fancy cutscenes or the voiceovers, I actually prefer this version because the music seems to be better in some instances. And the ending theme to this was awesome. The Turbo Graphics one does not have that. Oh, so. And I'm gonna go with another SNES game. My favorite SNES game it would be Shadow Run. Love that game. Shadow Run is just a great story. You could hack into computers. You know, kind of gives you an idea where the Matrix came from, because they—that's what they called it. Uh, various weapons you could get, and machine guns, and upgrades for wired reflexes, and different kinds of armor. And you would run around, and you have to collect uh, different things to get spells. And then eventually, you'd climb up to the top of the tower. And I don't really know what the main main purpose of the game is, except you were trying pretty much to get you're just out for revenge. revenge. Yes, yeah, against the dragon. Yep, yep, and then it's you kind of stop the corporation at the yeah. end. And one of the biggest disappointments about this game, and it created the disappointment, was remember at the end it said, Very end of the game. "I'll get you, Jake. I'll fight you again in Shadow Run 2." And after beating it, we were like, "Hell yes, yeah, there's gonna be a Shadow Run 2. Cool." Yeah, yeah, and it never happened. No. And there was a Genesis version. Which was horrible. See, now there's people who totally hate on the SNES version and love the Genesis version. I don't like it. I, I mean, it's, it's it. not terrible. Let me grab my other games here. It's not terrible, but I don't know. I just don't prefer it to the Super NES it's version. Just... So, yeah. but uh, another great RPG, Final Fantasy III, otherwise known as Final Fantasy VI now. Um... Great game, loads of hours spent on this thing. We rented it a couple times till I finally begged mom and dad to get it for me on my birthday. And for whatever reason, maybe it was because it was a limited run of the game or it was sold out everywhere. I think my parents went to like seven or eight different stores. And I think this game was like 70 bucks when it came out. It was expensive. Our parents, by you know, any means, were not rich people. No. Um, and they really spoiled us when it came to these games. So for them to go out and get this was freaking awesome. And when we got it, man, we spent tons and tons of time on this. Um, I would almost say this is probably my favorite next to 8. This is definitely better than 8. Oh, yeah, definitely. But you also did some hacking of this, didn't you? I did. I actually continuously, from time to time, work on it. Um, I changed it so Edgar is actually General Leo. I changed the palettes and the sprites around, and you can change it so that he does a shock maneuver, and then unfortunately you don't have Edgar in the game, but I changed things around, made bosses stronger, uh, added different weapons, renamed weapons. There's a lot you can actually do with it if you have the right modification tools. Nice, nice. Um, my favorite for the PlayStation, Final Fantasy VII. Had excellent gameplay. Some of the coolest characters, I think, in the Final Fantasy series, next to Final Fantasy 3 slash 6. I like 8 better than 7. I, I know people are going to be pissed, but I like 8. There's something about 8 that was more realistic. The gunblade system it was, was cool. Um, I, I identified more with the characters, I guess you could say, than this. And I also like the fact in Final Fantasy 8 that the characters during the normal gameplay weren't like super deformed like they were on this. Right. That was always a turn <laughs> yeah. that was yes. always a turn off for me on that because on Final Fantasy VII it had kick ass cutscenes. And then when Excellent. it got to end game it was like it, it, Squall's head or not Squall, I'm sorry, Cloud's wow. head was gigantic. It, it was like it transitioned between PlayStation graphics and Nintendo sixty four graphics. Yeah, yeah, it was that's very awkward. It still had a great 
fighting system, and yep. it, it was very yeah. enjoyable. Very long, long game. Though. Yeah, and I'm not downplaying. I mean, I it, it's still a great game, and I beat it a couple times. But I just prefer eight for some reason. And uh, finally, for the fifth game, unfortunately, you have never played this. No. You really need to. Uh, the third one is due out on PlayStation 3 shortly, and that is Yakuza. Yakuza, you play as a uh, kind of a head clansman, or about to be head clansman, and uh, you get drawn into like this brutal murder that happens, uh, and you get blamed for it. You kind of take the, take the blame for it to save your brother. And uh, just throughout the game, you're trying to unravel this mystery because you're back in Japan trying to figure things out, what's going on, and why, what uh, Yakuza families have taken over. Um, and a lot of people have compared this to like a uh, successor to Shenmue, which I do not like the Shenmue games at all. I just thought they were very plotting and boring. You liked it. I enjoyed it. So it, Yeah, the controls were kind of fun, and it, it was kind of dull at times, but the story did inter interest me. Now, see, this, I've heard, picks up kind of the, the same kind of gameplay, but just kicks it up a big notch, big time. And I really enjoyed it. The amount of, you know, uh, dialogue and quests in uh, the fighting system is just a lot of fun. So if you have a PS2 and haven't played it, you should definitely check it out. we got to get this guy a PS2 so he can play it. Yes. But uh, those are kind of our top five RPGs. I'm Mike Murtis. This is Matt Murtis. We'll be back with another episode eventually, I'm sure. Take it easy, guys. Gamer